morning. This is the Hatton's P class. South Eastern and Chatham Railway. These locos are tiny. I've put the rule there. You can see it's three inches long. It's tiny. Tiny little loco. I believe slightly smaller than the Terrier, ever so slightly. This was a Hatton Special. In real life they made eight of these, they were not a success, the Terriers were a lot, lot better and provided better steam pressure. They were built between 1909 and 1910, were drawn between 1955 and 1961 and four survived. Detail on this locomotive is excellent and as I've said it was a limited edition produced by Hattons. I hope you enjoy seeing this little loco run and thank you for watching. Okay, here we are doing the computer plan, going through a radius 2 curve point, at the radius 2, radius 2 curve point at the radius 2, radius 2 curve point at the radius 2, going through a Y point and into the siding. All Pico Insel Frog points. And you can see I'm running this really, really slowly. Really, really slowly here through these points. And you can hope you can see it runs really, really nice. Let's slow it down a little bit more. And that is creeping. And we don't want to be here all day, I'll speed it up. But you can see it was easy. Absolutely easy, thank you. I'm just bringing it back here as slow as I can through these insel frog points. And I'll do it going through two points because we don't want to be here all day. This is about speed setting one if you're running digital. But you can see that is it's going over the insel frog now, and you can see that is ridiculously slow. Thank you for watching. I haven't demonstrated this through all the points going that slow because the video will be too long, but you obviously get the point. Okay, we're going to run this little loco through my Pico Insel Frog points really slowly, like I always do. And as I always say to people, there is nothing wrong with insole frog points, providing they are level. We'll bring it back into the other side, and there is nothing in there. And you can see this runs really, really nice. In fact, I really wind the power right down as slow as I possibly can, and that is slow. As I say, all insole frog points, no droppers. And you can say, see this runs really, really nice. It really does run nice. And let's bring it back. Okay, here we are showing you from a different angle this little loco crawling through these sidings. And you can see it's a doddle. And now we're taking it out a little bit slower for you just to make a point. And this is crawling out. Slow it down a bit more if you can. Don't be surprised if it stops because we are really pushing our luck here. Barely any power.
and we take a great sense of but it's all about having your points are level if your points are level you won't have a problem and you can see we're poodling along quite nicely and you want to slide down a little bit And you can see you haven't got to cane the back side off this, it runs really, really nice. A little bit faster, otherwise we're going to be here all day. I mean this is nice, you can run it really really slowly. We haven't put people in this because they were a collector's edition and anything that we feel we can't replace easily we tend to leave alone. That includes the William Stanya and Channel Packet. These are cute because they're very small. But they're not the easiest to film believe it or not because it's just so small okay here we are bringing the P class into the station to pick up some coaches you should just be able to see it on the horizon it's so small it's almost like it's 009 gauge or N gauge they are tiny and take the train out please And you should just be able to see it taking its carriages out, going into the distance. Which thanks to our excellent driver on the footplate this morning, Susan, that was a smooth and hassle-free progress.
Now the important thing with these little locos is your points crossovers have got to be spot on. Level on the horizontal and the parallel, otherwise small locos will jut out and stop. I'm just hoping this small loco doesn't bend into the background so much that you can't see it with these panoramic views I'm doing. Here's the best panoramic view I can do. You might just catch the loco going around the uh, outer bend behind the trees. It's just now going past Miles Beaver. And here it comes. But as I said before, your crossovers have got to be dead level for small locos otherwise they will not run correctly here we are with a slightly different view with the loco just coming down the inner track We're showing it running backwards now because these did run backwards an awful lot. But I keep saying, and I don't wish to sound boring, for these little locos to run as they're designed to run, your track has got to be level. Especially on the points. Those coaches do actually creak, which amuses me. Okay, here we are on the tightest part of my track. Radius 2 curve point onto a radius 2. And you can see because it's so tight, the weight of these three coaches did affect the loco for a second then. Nothing's derailed but you can see the effect where it's really tight that it has on a loco. And we've changed it back to what I call the normal inner loop. These are Pico Streamline points, it's coming through now. And here's a panoramic view of the loco, which just cross points crossovers at the top of the layout. It's amazing all the model, different models and colour schemes Hattons did. I thought they made thousands of them, I didn't realise they only made eight. But the Terriers are a far better locomotive, far better locomotive. And that's basically the reason why. And here we are, we're going through a three-way point with two insole frogs, plus you're seeing the effect of a backdrop, scenery, 
which all adds to it, but there was two insole frogs on that point. As long as it's level, it will be and Here we are coming along the outside of the track. Through the crossover. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this little loco run and thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Okay, here we are returning to the station. Thank you very much for watching for the second time <laughs> and I hope you've enjoyed seeing this locomotive run. Thank you.